Hello friends, welcome to All Tricks. Today we will see solution of Olive Video Editor. So first of all, let's get to know what is Olive Video Editor. So for that, what we'll do, I will just give a search for Olive Video Editor in Google, and the first result which we'll get will be the home page of Olive Video Editor. So once we go there, uh, we'll get to know uh, for the what operating system is available. Now this is the landing page for Oli Video Editor. Click on download. Once you click so, uh, you will get the option to select the operating system for which it is available. So right now it's available for Windows, Linux and Mac. If you want, you can just download and install on Windows as well and give a try to that and let us know whether it's suitable to work with or not so here I go on download button and I click on Linux because I'm going to install for Ubuntu though we are going for Ubuntu we have other options as well to install so it can be installed via snap or app image then um, it can be installed for Arc Linux and other Linux distro I have opened the app image on github that will get the various types of uh, installation packages you can see here it's available for mac windows and source code is also available which we can just extract and install in any linux distro so uh, getting back to this page uh, it has some more options like flat pack and it's available for void linux and arc linux debian packages also so the one which are not available you can install the zip file or sorry the tar file so make compilation of that and then install it i'll create a separate video for installing tar files now let's go to our terminal so i'm searching the terminal here and by the way this is a one too uh, it's a customized version i mean the display has been altered so if you want Ubuntu like this, let me know. I'll create a video on it. So first of all, uh, in terminal, we have to write a command, which is sudo add hyphen apt hyphen repository space ppa colon olive editor slash olive editor. So this command will add a repository to Ubuntu now once you do so just press enter it will ask your sudo password enter the password it will check couple of uh, servers and uh, start the downloading process or updating the repository so there is a typo mistake here uh, that I have fixed later on now I'll be just pressing the enter and proceeding through the the way normally we used to do an installation from terminal now at this point you have to select enter to continue to add this repository once that's done your repo will be added after few lines of code running for some downloads and all So here we are done with the repository addition. Now we'll uh, run this command sudo apt get update. So what it will do, uh, it will update the packages information from the repository. Basically just update from the repository. Now once this is done successful, we can just start our installation. So the third command will be running to install. So it will take a minute and then we will run the next command.
there we go it's finished now we'll execute the command sudo apt hyphen get space install space olive hyphen editor so once this command is executed you will be asked for uh, downloading some file you have to click on y or press y and press enter to continue so see the, the window is here i will press y and press enter so installation will continue to download some file once the download is finished olive editor will be installed on my linux system now let's wait for the installation to get finished Installation is finished now. Type exit to quit terminal and go to the menu and search for Olive. You will see uh, Olive is installed. You will get the icon for the Olive with label. Click on that to launch the editor. So basically, you will see an interface like this, and this is the editor what we have. This editor is open source and I'll give a try and create a tutorial on it how to use this editor and we'll be back with you in some time. Thank you. Keep watching. Subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications.